we published an article on AI about a week ago on our Premier Unbelievable website. It was titled, Should Christians Be Concerned About the Rapid <laughs> Advancements in Artificial Intelligence? I, I sent this to you the other day, John, just to have a look at it, see what you, you thought did. of it. You, and I thought, you, well, you, it's sort of, you know, you think? Yeah, go on. I, I thought it was, yeah. you know, it's not, it's not the best thing I've ever read, but, you know, <laughs> I've read other things written by Christians, which were far worse. I thought it was fairly balanced. Okay, <laughs> okay. well, good. Okay, middle of the road. Middle um, of the road. Well, and, and then we, of course, let the cat out of the bag with you, John. It was written by AI. Um, so we would thought we'd just try this little experiment of seeing whether people twigged. And to be honest, I haven't seen anyone actually twig that this was written by AI. And it's just a, a, it just shows you how far this technology is coming. Now, we'd love to, to just demonstrate how we created this article because lots of people have been talking about this new ai platform chat gpt it's freely available anyone can go on it register and it's it's almost like magic what this program can do <laughs> um uh, you you put in your command you write it in plain english there's no html code or anything like that needed and what you can see here is is the way that we created this by just asking it to create an article about 1500 words um, using quotes from a famous atheist, a famous Christian, include a Bible verse for reassuring Christians about the uncertainties of AI. Please also give this article a catchy title that will get people's attention, a single sentence summary of the article and so on, a made up name for the author. So you give the instructions and then look what happens. It literally just starts to write the article for you. Um, and you can do this on any subject. Uh, you can ask it to write um, a film script. You could ask it to create a recipe. You could ask it to plan a church service. Mm. I mean, there's, there's all, you know, the possibilities are almost endless with this. And, and, and so this is an article that it wrote. Now, this isn't the article that we posted because actually when we came to record this, it, uh, it wrote a different article, actually, arguably a slightly better article <laughs> than the first one. Um, but it's just, it's just kind of mind blowing. And, um, I should say it. We we asked it to invent a name for the for the this uh, you know the author. It, it came up with Sarah Johnson from Stanford University, but it fooled you, John. Um, it so, certainly did. Yeah. So what what do you think about all of this? <laughs> well, it's, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Because um, you know, if, if you had said ten years ago that this technology would be able to just out of the blue um, give quite a, th a thoughtful, well-argued, sensible, apparently intelligent piece, uh, you would have said that that is science fiction. And, and it just shows you how predicting where this technology is going um, is is really problematic. And, and I mean, it, this is raising a lot of, of questions, all kinds of practical issues. Like, for instance, you know, if you get this to write your essay for you, I mean, why do you worry about uh, yeah both at school uh, university i mean, I mean this know. is going to be an absolute nightmare for it teachers, is a nightmare. isn't it I it's mean, a, is it plagiarism like... is it you know? <laughs> well it's not because it's not even if it was just copying and pasting bits of the internet that would be one thing but it's writing completely unique copy every time that's that's the point about it it, it is quite quite extraordinary um yeah i mean and what is I mean, extraordinary really... actually yeah, is, i mean I, I don't fully understand the technology but as much as i understand basically what has happened is that these programs have have gone across the entire internet and, and all languages scraping up literally billions and billions and billions of pieces of text but then the machine learning system basically analyzes it and and they have two two programs sort of competing against each other one program is trying to generate AI and the uh, text and the other one is is testing it and critiquing it mm. and what it's trying to do is predict what the next word will be in 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 all these billions of words right it's trying to predict what the next word will be and it keeps getting better and better at predicting what the next word will be and apparently it runs both forwards and backwards so it's not only predicting what the next word is going to be but it also <laughs> predicts what the last word was wow and eventually by doing this millions and millions and millions and millions of times it then produces this text in other words it mm. doesn't genuinely understand anything it doesn't have a database of, of information. It's some kind of weird mashup 
of billions and billions and billions of of mm. of text mm. and again the fascinating thing about this technology is that even the best computer scientist could not tell you why it wrote that particular sentence mm. it 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 in yeah. that sense it's completely it, it's a kind of a black serious. box almost it's a black isn't box. it yeah yeah well, I mean, there's no doubt that it's clearly ridiculously intelligent, but but and and really helpful in some respects. You know, Justin mentioned their sermons, things like that. I know a church leader who wrote just just as an experiment. He didn't use it, but I kind of <laughs> asked it for a order of service, and and it responded in thirty seconds with a liturgy, with sort of call and response, with hymns, with prayers, with Bible passages, with a short sermon. So there's clearly no doubt that it's really useful. But but is it just useful, or is it sort of evidence that humans are increasingly becoming unnecessary? Do you think? You know, are we all going to be done out of jobs because of <laughs> AI in the future, John? I don't think so, because actually every single word that that produced was written by a human in that sense it's not original at all it has simply statistically generated vast amounts of of text and because it doesn't understand anything it's perfectly capable of saying things which are completely wrong mm. it there's a medical term called confabulation which some people with brain injury do where they just you ask them a question and they invent a memory they just and it churns out and it's incredibly realistic but they're actually just confabulating and and that's what this does it it invents things that never happened it it, it invents conversations historical conversations events and so on and the other thing that is if you actually left this to do itself, it would spew out obscenities, sexual references, uh, hate speech, and so on. So there's a, a second process, which is an extraordinarily mm. detailed curation and uh, removal. And who's doing that? Well, of course, it's human beings and human moderators who are who are making sure that this will only generate acceptable text. Yeah, that, that in a sense, you always have to have a human at the other end to make sense of it, because as much as we call it artificial intelligence, the, the only real intelligence is is up here in our human exactly. mind, where we can ascribe meaning to something. As you say, the AI has no idea what it's doing. It's just following a program. Um, yes, and, so, and so, I yeah. think as, as we look to the future, yes, these things are going to get more and more apparently sophisticated, and we're going to find it harder and harder to tell what is genuinely human. But most experts think actually when it comes to real understanding real comprehension they're not getting anywhere um mm. and, and actually there's going to need to be a new breakthroughs fundamental breakthroughs in, in computer science and in cognition and, and maybe in philosophy before machines are ever really going to be mm. able to comprehend in the way that the human mind can for more conversations between Christians and skeptics, subscribe to the Unbelievable podcast. And for more updates and bonus content, sign up to the Unbelievable newsletter.